Prince Harry has been accused of appearing to copy and paste a speech by Prince William when he spoke at the United Nations yesterday. The Duke of Cambridge's 2021 Church of Scotland speech has been compared with the Duke of Sussex's speech today in New York, both of which have similar talking points and resemblances. And in the dark days of grief that followed, I found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. And in yesterday's speech, Harry also references his late mother, Princess Diana, when talking about Africa, saying, it's where I felt closest to my mother and sought solace after she died. He goes on to talk about Meghan Markle, adding and where I knew it found a soulmate in my wife. Similarly, Prince William in his speech last year said, it was here in Scotland, 20 years ago, that I first met Catherine. Needless to say, the time when you meet your future wife holds a very special place in your heart. People have taken to Twitter to share how eerily similar the two speeches are. One person wrote on social media, Prince Harry just copied and pasted Prince William's 2021 Church of Scotland speech. While another said, oops, they have nothing original. William Kate have everything you want brains, beauty their brand, jealous much Harry. And a third chimed in saying, I knew I'd heard that before. It isn't the first time that he has copied William. Further to this, Prince Harry has also been accused of copying the format of the speech, with one saying, of course he did. I bet he'll claim he wrote it first. And another wrote, have nothing to say don't say but don't copy your brother's speech. During their visit to New York, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, faced protests outside of the United Nations. Protesters were pictured outside holding up signs urging the Duke and Duchess to go home. One protester held up a sign reading, Mandela spent 27 years behind bars in S.A. Markle spent 18 months in castles and complained on TV during a pandemic. Why are they here? UN members gathered in the General Assembly Hall on Monday to observe Nelson Mandela International Day.